This video content is not intended for children. And this is Alex from Lebanon, a nice large mouth there doing the selfie thing on Old Hickory Lake. Is that a bite? It might be a bite. I can't. I can't tell. Got him. Fish on. First fish of the day. Six-inch bluegill. Yep. Six-inch bluegill. Maybe five and a half. <laughs> Wishful thinking on my part. But that's the first fish. Good one. I don't know if you all have seen this before, but this is a panfish grub kit by Ready to Fish. It's got different color grubs and some jig heads. Let's get one tied on and see if we can get a fish out here. I'm gonna fish two grubs. We'll see if that helps at all. So far, I haven't caught except one bluegill. Finally got something. Skipjack. I got a skipjack. I think he said he got a largemouth bass over there. Second fish of the day, skipjack, about a 10 incher. I think he said he got a bass, let's see. Oh, good one. Oh yeah. That's like a half pound maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Get him on the grub? A white grub. The fish are busting the top over here, and I threw out there, boom! Cool. Must be some shad or something over I think there. So. Yeah. There you go, another large mouth. He inhaled that thing. Look at it. Good one. Yeah. I call that quarter pounder with cheese. Yeah, I say that on the comments. What's up, everybody? Fatboy Dan here from Fatboy Dan's Great Outdoors. Y'all already know you're watching Realistic Fishing. And just remember to always keep it realistic. Your turn. All right, I'm gonna try a spinner. We're on to something. It's here. got a little bit more weight. I don't have to whip so hard. There's a little fish. What do I got? Small largemouth bass on a spinner over here in this little honey hole that Seth's been fishing. He got a few bass out of here. Here's a little one. Seven inch bass. All right. Got him on this blue inline spinner. I needed something with a little more weight. My arms are getting tired casting that grub over and over again. The small bass are in here. He got one earlier though, that was about a half a pound. It may be from me to you left because I haven't gotten any hits right in here. 
Is that a fish? There we go, there's one. A little bit better of a bass here, I think. All right. That's up in that half pound range like the one he had. Nice. Let's get him off the hook. There we go. The tongue is smooth, so it's not a spot, but it's a good looking bass with a nice dark stripe. Got him on that blue inline spinner. They're all over this little area right here. I'm not exactly sure why. I thought I saw some shad earlier, but I don't see too many left. Maybe they ate them all. Anyway, let's let them go. Good fish. There might even be some further down, but is there anywhere to cast once you go in there? There may be. Yeah, I don't know. It's usually so grown, now that it's not grown up, you may have to see. Like the, I meant the vegetation is not grown. Yeah. That's what I meant. So. I want to say I've seen somebody old today. There's got to be some chat or something. And like you said, they may be further down. It gets super, the creek comes in right over there. So I don't know if that has to do with it. There you go. Something little. There's another little bass. There's enough little bass in here for both of us to catch a couple. That's always nice. Yeah, nice little seven inch bass again. This is Slash Gills from the Juggalo Fishing Posse and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it Realistic. There's a little fish. Another quarter pounder. There's just a ton of them over here. Hopefully it means it's going to be a good year. Oh, yeah. yeah, nice fish. Quarter pounder with cheese. Well, started out really slow, but I'm glad I got into a few. Was that your bait? No. Nope. There's, there's a shad or something out there. Yeah, There's one right in front of the, right in front of me. Nice. Yeah, right back here. Is that what you said? Yeah, you know where I'm <laughs> There we go. Another quarter pounder with cheese. Wants to stay curled up. There we go. Not huge, but getting some bites out here. Hopefully that means it's going to be a good year for bass. Switch it up. There's a bite. Yellow bass. Look at this. All right. Yellow bass. All sorts of variety today. This is epic. Skipjack, bass, and now yellow bass. Good looking fish. Yeah, he's definitely down there eating what everyone else is. Yep. 
There's a fish. Got him on this side. What do we got? Another little bass. All of a sudden these little bass are all over the place. It's a good problem. Another little guy. Got to hold him close to the camera. Make him look big. Oh yeah? There's a fish. What do we got? Another quarter pounder? Yeah, there's another quarter pounder. Yeah. There we go. Another quarter pounder with cheese. This one's a little bit taller than some of those other ones. Good little bass. They're in here thick. Yes. Yes. Okay, let me see. Keep it realistic. Yeah, this is what I'm getting all the action on. Little blue and silver panther martin. What do I have here? Someone's line. Let's go toss this line and stuff in the garbage. Yeah, we're a little bit soggy back here. Trying to find some access to some more water over here. Oh, it feels like I'm snagged. Yeah, stick. There we go. Lots of debris floating in the water over here. Fish. There's a bass. There's a bass. All right. Another half pounder. There we go. Nice. Got another half pound bass here. Wants to keep his tail curled. There we go. Yeah, good one. Got him right down here on that inline spinner. Nice. Nice. Let's let him go. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a small Rapala or something right there hanging in the tree, drifting back and forth. There's a lot of trees and stuff hanging over the water right here, so casting is a little bit tricky. But I'm making something happen. Hi, I'm John from Northern Grit, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. 
Well, it's getting dark and I'm just about out of time. Today started off slow, but I ended up doing all right once I switched to the inline spinner. I got a bluegill, I got a skipjack, and I don't know, five or six bass, including a couple of half pounders, which is pretty good for this time of year. Seth also caught a few, what did you get? I caught a big old skipjack, probably pound or so, and I caught several pretty good sized bass. It was a nice day today. We'll catch you next time. We'll come back to this creek when it's a little warmer. And thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.